Hello, this is Eric at the Prince Road Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2011 Ford Explorer in a limited trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, providing you with plenty of power for getting around with four-wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions, but let's take a look inside. First looking in the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your third row seating area or cargo area since you can fold these seats flat for plenty of cargo room with their own cup holders and cubbies back here. Then you have power controls for your third row seats as well as a 12 volt power outlet here. And this closes again with another simple press of a button. And then looking into the second row seats where you have seating for three comfortably with fold out armrests and two cup holders in the middle as well as having two more down here with a 12 volt, 110 volt power outlet and then your rear climate controls. This vehicle does also have a remote start so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in you have power windows, power mirrors and power locks as well as three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, pedals and your mirrors. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see it's sitting at uh, 166,136 kilometers. And moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone and radio controls as well as your controls here for your right screen where you can go through your entertainment, phone, navigation, and climate controls. And then on the left you have your cruise controls with distance pacing technology as well as your controls for your left screen where you can look at your RPMs. Uh, distance to empty, RPMs with oil temperature, your four-wheel drive status, and then you can also move down to your trip one and two information, your fuel economy, your settings for your screen, and some other features are in your vehicle, and your general information such as warnings. Uh, but then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is Radio Sirius CD USB Bluetooth, SD, and AV capable, so you have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to. Then in the bottom right you have your digital climate controls with dual zone front climate as well as heated and air conditioned front seats so you can stay comfortable no matter the weather or climate. And in the top right you have your navigation screen so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels as well as having your Bluetooth phone controls in the top left. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you're going to be able to see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything. Moving down from that, you have your hazards, and then you have your media controls here, as well as your physical climate controls, again with dual zone front climate. Then you have this compartment here with a USB, two, or sorry, your 12 volt, two USBs, SD and AV inside, so you can plug something into power or charge or hook up your audio from there. And then you have your main shifter with select shift on the side, so you can manually shift through your gears, two cup holders, and then your um, your terrain selector here for, you have mud rut, sand, and snow grass gravel mode. Um, then in the middle you have your hill descent assist, and then you have your center compartment slash armrest here with a 12 volt power outlet inside and plenty of room for all of your stuff. And then last but not least, you do have a sort of multi-panel, twin-panel moonroof up top so you can land the sunshine, but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.